January 28th, Monday, Memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, Priest and Doctor A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up with a strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord A kingdom is divided against itself. The battle of two superpowers is presented here. The power of God embodied by Jesus against the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons. The power Jesus exhibits comes from the Spirit of God that creates positive results, healing, and forgiveness of sins. Instead, the power of the evil one results in the destruction of men. Jesus has the stronger and greater power to subdue Satan. Jesus exposes the hypocrisy of the teachers of the law for accusing him of complicity with Beelzebul and trying to stop him from accomplishing his mission. Doing the Father's will must be foremost in his agenda, and no opposition can prevent him from continuing his public ministry. With whom are we allied? Anyone who is connected with Jesus can do wonderful deeds in Jesus' name.